that particular group. If you don't specify the group name, by default the users will be added to staff group. Okay, and there are a lot of uh, parameters or attributes for users, but we are not going to concentrate on all those things. First, let us see how to create a user. The command to create a user is nk user. You can use nk user command to create a user. You don't specify anything. Just nk user space the username. Rest of things like home directory, UID, shell, group, and everything will be taken from the default values. Or the UID it uh, will be allocated based upon the available values in the system. Once you create a user, the user uh, attributes are actually stored in a file called uh, HC password. You see here there are seven fields available in each line. The first field is your user name, and the second field is uh, this defines about the password. We'll see it later. The third field is the user ID, and the fourth field is the group ID and the fifth field is basically comment or gcos they're just a command you know it uh, mentions about the users information like email ID or password and the sixth field is the home directory and the seventh field is the shell here it's con shell the default one and what is the second field the second field is nothing but the password it specifies the status of your password or if it is uh, if it's a star it is uh, it means like there is no password for this user so without a password a user cannot log into a system to set a password you use the command called passwd it asks for a new password for Raja and once you type it it asks for the confirmation I mean it will ask for the same password. Okay, now the password is set. Now let us grab for Raja in etc password. See over here in the second field you see uh, exclamation mark. This means uh, the password for Raja is stored under a file called etc uh, security password. The password is, a, uh, is actually a encrypted and it is stored over here. Okay, under HC security password, that's a stands up for every user. Under Raja stands up, you see password is you don't see the actual password, it's actually an encrypted one. Last update is the last uh, password update date and time. It shows the number of seconds or minutes, I think, number of minutes a days from 1980 or something I don't remember that flags this flag is called admin change that means this the password for Raja has been changed by the root user that is the administrator so if the flag is ADM CHG and after this if Raja logins with the password given by the root user it will ask him to set a new password because this password is known by the root user so at any time root can log in as Raja with the password so for security issues, the user have to change the password if his password has been set by root user. <coughs> okay. Now we have seen Etsy password and Etsy security password. There is a command called ls user to list the attributes of user. So let's say ls user Raja, you see his ID, his primary group that is called P group, PGRP, staff, secondary groups is just staff, home directory, shell, login equal to true. This login equal to true that means he can always log in. If it is, if this attribute is false, then the user cannot log into the server and SU equal to true. That means any user can SU to Raja. If you set SU equal to false for Raja, that means no one can is you to Raja or login equal to true or login means remote login if it is true that means Raja can 
10 let or FTP from anywhere. If it is false, he cannot do anything. He cannot do 10 let or FTP from outside. And demo on, he can run background demo on. He is not an admin, say it's false. And uh, okay, this is the one. Art one equal to system. That means the authentication method. That is here we, in this uh, system we use the standard AIX authentication method. That means uh, authentication is done by verifying the password in HC Security Pass WD. And you have other authentication methods like Kerberos version four and Kerberos version five. And there's a U mask value. Let's talk about this later. And uh, yeah, login times, login details, these are related to password and account log equal to false. If account log equal to true, that means this, the user ID has been logged. He cannot log in from anywhere. You need to unlock it to allow him to log in. Minimum age and maximum age, pass, maximum expired, minimum alpha, minimum other, minimum difference, max repeats, min length. These are related to the password. Minimum age, that means if I set a password, if, if the minimum age is equal to 3, and if I set a password, I cannot change the password in 3 days. I need to use it for at least 3 days. This is the minimum age of a password. The maximum age is, if it is 5, that means I can use a password maximum for 5 days. And after